Good afternoon, my lovers. I'm back out. And guess where? Yes, I'm on the fields. <laughs> Is there a day it goes by when I'm not on the fields? Probably not. Right, I've got the GPX 5000. I've got loads of sweet signals. I could have, oh, oh, could have even more hammered coins today. I'm close to where I found the, the Charles the First Groat. Oh, wind's getting up. I'm, I'm a bit behind this edge here because the wind is a bit gusty. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be working too well. Yeah, I got the Horn Hunter coil, and we're going to see if we can find. Oh, this camera stand's getting a bit heavy. <laughs> and we're going to see if we can find some more hammers. Woohoo! Yeah, I got the Horn Hunter with me today. I've just been out. I've detected uh, 23 targets in this field over here. I've detected 23 targets and I've got 20 diggable signals. So I'm getting pretty good with this old GPX now. Starting to recognise the different tones. So let's find some treasure. Woohoo! Oh, I got a sweet one here. Oh, double zero. Mmm. Well, 32 could be gold. Gold on my first hole, that would be nice. Uh, where is it too? Is it deeper? That's the problem with that GPX. Tends to find really deep things. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, a gold noble. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Gold noble, another one. Oops. Oops. Ow. Oh, spiky grass. <laughs> Oop. Yeah, it's there. Somewhere. Right, let's dig a slightly off. Just in case, don't want to hit it if it's a gold noble, do we? Oh, what was that? That's a rock. <laughs> yeah, that was a rock. on have I moved it I must have moved it hey where is it too <laughs> found it eventually it's right there it's my spade gone oh it's right behind me oh Well, I sort of found it. Right there. Oh. oh, I must have had it by now. Oh. I can see it, I can see an edge. Oh, is it a coin? It looks silverish. It looks silver. Let's get you down the hole. There it is there, look. Looks like silver. Don't want to come. What is it? Hmm. 
Is it a spoon? Oh. Is it coming? <laughs> Let's dig around it a bit more. Yes, the spoon handle. Woohoo! <laughs> Oh, it's got hall marks. I can see some hall marks on the spoon handle, the size of it. It's a whopping good big spoon handle. Whopping. Yeah, see a maker's mark there, look, T. I can see a T. TI, I think. So yeah, it's a spoon. A good big one. Oh, look at this signal I got here. Oh, 12.22 it had a minute ago. Mm. Oh, it's jumping around a bit now. Anyway, let's dig it. It could be a hammered coin. There somewhere. Oh, still down the hole. Oh, it's over there. All right, let's get you around this side. Down here. Right, where's me peg? Ah, oh, there's me peg. Right, get me peg in there. Should be right on it. You see it? What's that there? Oh. What's that? Is it gold? Looks like gold. Yep. That's not gold, is it? Difficult to tell. Could be a bottle top. What do you reckon? Bottle top or cack or gold? I prefer gold. Aluminium goes golden colour, doesn't it, in the ground sometimes? I don't know if it's like it gets um, rub it, look, it's starting to come up white. Oh, you bugger! I thought that was a gold bracelet. <laughs> oh, some sort of cack. Oh, I just had something out from down there. Wasn't a very good signal, so I didn't lie you dig it. Probably because it's got a bit of iron in there somewhere. But that's what it is. It's got a, it's pretty corroded, could be silver, and it's got this little bit of a pattern on the end, I don't know if it's a spoon hand or what, it's all like bent, I don't think it's a knife, it's whatever that is, and I've had a bit of pottery out of the hole, where's it gone, ah, here it is. Look at that. Lovely bit of rim. And get that cleaned up and I'll see if I can give give you a date. But it look it's, it's looking a bit uh, Saxon. I'll have to show it to my fines liaison officer, see what he says. 
Yeah, I think that could be Anglo-Saxon. Very coarse. Very coarse. They used to, see that black bit in there, look? What, and these holes? What they used to do is they used to mix manure in with the clay so that when they fired it, it was less likely to crack uh, because the, the manure would burn out and then they'd put pitch on the inside to make it watertight. I think that could be Saxon, Anglo-Saxon. Not that far away from where I found my Saxon gold coin. They used to make these pots, sort of about this sort of size, and they had a big wide rim and a little short neck and they had a sort of a bulbous bottom. They were quite bulbous. So I'll see what my uh, finds liaison officer thinks. Woohoo! Something around about that kind of size. Oh, we got a sweet one year. Mm. Oh, can I see it? I think I can see it. What's that there? Oh, it's a great big musket ball. A great big one. God. You wouldn't want that in oh is it a musket ball? It's got O in it. Has it got O in it? It's got O in both sides. Oh no, I'll see if I can uh, poke it out. Yeah. I reckon it's one of those, uh, uh, what do they call them? Uh, musket, it's a musket ball, but it's, um, when, they, it would, when it would fire, it would make a noise flying through the air, because of the hole. So it could be one of them. So I can poke it through. Oh. Ah, there we go. It could be one of those, it's too big a hole for fishing weight. That would be a bit small, I would think. Yeah, I reckon that's one of those musket balls they used to fire for, uh, you know, as a kind of, uh, what do you call it? Put the fear of God into people. Make a funny noise as it's flying through the air. Well, the Romans used to do that as well, didn't they? They had must red lead balls with holes in. Could be a Roman one. Right, that might need looking into. Oh, sounds lovely, this one. Mmm, mm, coin? Ooh. Sweet! What's that there? Bit of mud. Right under that worm. I got it. No, not in there. My peg's gone. Oh, I'm gonna have to go and get a peg. It's right here. Bit of dark soil. Hope it's not a shotgun end. Last time I did this with a peg, it was a shotgun end. Oh, oh, I can see greenness. Oh, it's quite big. Oh, oh, it's an artifact. Yeah, it's an artifact. Oh, 
Or was it a pesky buckle? Hey, eh? it's quite big, whatever it is. Eh? Funny shape. What's that? Let's get you around this side, right there, look. Is it a buckle? It's a bit bigger if it's a buckle. Oh, it's going along there and up through here. Oh, it's getting bigger. It's getting bigger. It's bizarre, isn't it? I just recognise that edge. It's a barrel tap, I think. I think it's a barrel tap. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a barrel tap. Woohoo! A beer implement. Right, let's get the spade in there because that's a quite a big thing. Barrel taps are quite big. Oh. oh, what's that? There it is. Well, what's left of a barrel tap? It's the spout bit on a barrel tap. What they call them in America? Spigots. Spigots. Lovely jubbly. Right, just check to see if there's anything else down there. No. Now you would think if that was to break, you'd chuck both bits away, wouldn't you? So the other bit has got to be around here somewhere, I would have thought. Unless they just left it stuck in the barrel. Because that's the tap. Right, lovely jubbly. What you've got to remember is hundreds of years ago, a farmhand was paid in cider uh, or beer. And the farmer would have a little key that went into the barrel tap to stop only allowing them so many pints, like you'd give them like maybe two or three pints. So what I, what I think has happened here, is someone's had a bit more than their quota and they've broken the tap to get more out of the barrel. And you know, they must have whacked it quite hard to break it. So uh, he probably got sacked by the farm, farmer <laughs> on your way. So that's what they used to do, they used to have a little barrel tap and a key to stop them from taking too much of the, uh, the juice. Oh, we've got a banging signal here. Oh, 12.18. <sighs> Cross your fingers and toes. Oh. Oh. oh, Cross your fingers and toes. Oh, where's me pinpointer? There it is. Hmm. Where's it to? Oh, it's in there. <laughs> it's in here. It's right in here. Oh, it's right in there. Oh, my battery's about to go. Oh, I better change it. Right, it's in here. I've changed the battery. I've got a brand new one. Well, not a brand new one, but a fully charged one. Right. We got a. Oh, what's left of a worm? Get rid of him. <laughs> yeah, it's still in there. Right, could be a hammered coin. Oh, oh what's that there? A rock still in there. <laughs> it's like musical chairs, isn't it? We get there eventually. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it's getting smaller. Hopefully it's not a shotty. Oh, what's that? A little musket ball. Yeah, it's a little musket ball. Pistol ball. That's what it is. Lovely jubbly. Oh, I got one of them mega deep GPX signals and I've got it. Well, I haven't got it. I, I detected it with the pinpointer, but it's really deep. Really deep. It's right down here. Look, here's the pinpointer. I'll turn it off. What's that? That's another 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 inches. That's well over a foot deep. Right on it. Might be a bit dark down here. I might have to adjust the uh, the vision on the uh, camera. What do they call it? The uh, contrast. Right, you have to use the spade. And get down to it at least. Oh. Hopefully it's not a piece of crap. Oh, it is. It's a piece of crap. Is it old crap though? Oh, it's got eyebrows. It's got eyebrows. See these bumps? I think it's a horseshoe. Right, I'm going to clean this up. It could be Saxon. Yeah, I think it could be. It could be a piece of a Saxon horseshoe. See how these bumps here on the edge? I think that's a nail going through. But uh, it might be another nail there. But it's a bit crudy, crudy if it is. Crudy? <laughs> Crummy. Not a very good example. But it could be Saxon. Oh, I just had another signal. And uh, I thought it was going to be a piece of uh, barbed wire that I've been getting lots of barbed wire today. But uh, it looks um, not like barbed wire. It's a thing. Ooh. Is it shrapnel? Oh, very sharp. It could be a bit of shrapnel. It's got like oh, funny marks all around the outside. Could be this. Could be the bit that oh, I don't know. It's very sharp. Yeah, I think it is. It's, it's some sort of piece of shrapnel. And those those marks are rifling marks that's gone up the barrel. Maybe anti-aircraft uh, shell. Yeah, from the war. When we were fighting the Germans. Well, we're not fighting them anymore, hopefully. Hopefully in the future, that is. You know, Brexit and all that. Right, shut up, Cleggy. Oh, I've got a banging signal in here. Ooh, 1217. <sighs> Could be a hammered coin. Could be. Hopefully. Oh, let's turn it round. Right, it's in there. Where's my pinpointer? Ah. Right here. Oh. Right here. Oh, what's that? Ah! Oh. It's an aluminum nail. An aluminum nail. Hmm, what are they good for? Should they think they'd just bend, wouldn't they? Ah! Uh, oh, saying that. I did bend it a bit. Oh, that's it, me lovers. I'm going to head off to the pub for a few jars. Cheers! <laughs>